everybody welcome to dandelion cottage and the 12 days of christmas i'm leslie watkins and today is the fifth day of christmas hello how are you i hope you're having a good weekend i've been having a pretty restful weekend after all the holiday excitement and um when I woke up this morning, there was frost on the ground. So it really made me start thinking about getting the firewood in and getting ready for the winter and the cold weather to come. And today's card actually features some of that sort of wintry feeling. And one of my favorite things, which is the chickadees. And they're starting to come around and uh, asking me how come there's no bird seed in the feeders. We put our bird seed out later around here because we have a, a lot of bear in the area. And so um, it's been just a little bit too warm yet for them to get into their dens. And sometimes they don't. Um, lately, it's the uh, last couple of years, the winters have been warm enough that the bears have remained active. But anyway, I have had bear visitors before and I don't want to encourage them. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before I put the bird seed out. So, but anyway, um, I am looking forward to seeing the chickadees and I wanna share my project with you today. So this is the stamp set I'm going to be using. It's called Peaceful Boughs. And it also has a coordinating die set called Beautiful Bows. And I'm also using this little bird from the Free as a Bird. Let me zoom you in a little bit. So I'm using this little guy who probably is not meant to be a chickadee because his beak is too thick, but I'm going to turn him into a chickadee anyway today. And I've done a lot of the cutting out ahead of time. So I have some things ready to go here. And I've got a Whisper White envelope. This is the Misty Moonlight cardstock. I've got a piece of the Seaside Spray cardstock, and I have uh, both those inks as well. And I've gone ahead and I've stamped and cut out two of these beautiful labels. Let me show you what they look like on the darker background. So these are these really pretty kind of fancy shaped labels that come with this die set. And they're very distinctive with these beautiful little diamond points in the corners. And I've also gone ahead and cut out a number of other pieces here. So we've got the we've got these pine boughs. I think they're pines. They might be spruce. I guess they're spruce. And here's another one. And then I have an assortment of pine cones cut out as well. And these are kind of a two-step die. So what I've done is I've punched out the, the, the outline pieces or the background pieces in crumb cake. And then I have this kind of uh, filigree line work that I've cut out in soft suede. So the first thing I want to do is, is put those together. So for this, I'm using my I'm using my liquid glue. Let me zoom you in because this is very fine work here. Okay. I think you can see that. So I'm just putting a tiny little bit in some of these intersections 
of the pine cone like that. And then I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap paper. And I'm just going to spread that around a little bit. And you don't, you don't need a lot of glue. It doesn't have to be all over the entire thing, just in a few key points. Okay. So this is going to take a couple of minutes to do this. So um, while, while I'm doing this, I want to talk about some of the things that I have coming up. So you see that, um, that outer or under piece coordinates perfectly with that. And it gives you that wonderful, not only does it give you the texture of the pine cone, but it also gives you the effect of light and shade which is which is really really fun so anyway so yes so um, I want to tell you that we're, we're heading towards the end of the month here and that means in the next uh, this afternoon and tomorrow I'm going to be preparing my newsletter notes and that comes out on the first of each month and it's delivered right to your mailbox and in it I will be listing a number of uh, classes I have coming up for December and also um, there's information in there about my watercolor club where we paint a new subject each month and you get lots of tips and tricks on, on how to work with watercolors. and. This month, I'm going to be running a buy one, get one free sale right here on Facebook. And there is a special group called BOGO Sale here on, on this page that you can go and look at some of the offerings I have coming up. So I'm going to start off just with Christmas stamps. And um, so I've got a, a number of them listed already. So you can go look at those. And I've got a few more that have to go up, including some bundles, which will be stamps and dies. And in notes, I will be listing all of the guidelines of how you can um, claim your stamp set and, um, and get your so the, you'll get $20 um, in product for every stamp set you buy. So they're, they're all going to be valued at $20, which is the average cost. And, um, and you will be able to get the equal value in new product from any of the current catalogs. And if you spend over $50, you'll also get a free gift. And that might be an embellishment or a ribbon or some other um, retired product that I have. So um, if, you, if you'd like to learn more about that, if you, if you think you'd like to participate, please subscribe to Notes at Dandelion Cottage Design Dot com and I will send you all the information and as an added bonus also we've got a lot of things going on this month um, I have for the subject for the watercolor card club uh, we're going to be learning to paint a sprig of holly which will be very useful for your Christmas cards, your tags, your boxes, and anything else. You can, you can do a beautiful little painting and present it to somebody in a little frame. And make a really nice present. And as a special added bonus for December only, I'm going to include 
how to paint a chickadee and you won't want to miss that. That's going to be a really, really fun project. So um, that's another uh, That's another class coming right up. Okay, so these are my pine cones coming along. I've got one more to do here. I hope you've been enjoying the 12 days of Christmas so far. If you have, let me know. Put a comment below if you have any questions. Let me know where you're watching from. And, um, and let me know if you have a favorite one so far that I've done, or maybe, maybe you have a request. Maybe there's a certain stamp set that you'd like to see me use. Oh, and one more thing. Also in December, there's going to be a box making workshop. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you right from a simple, easy box to a reinforced box to an explosion box. And, um, and you will learn a lot of tips and tricks on box making just in time for your Christmas presents. Oh, now here's my little bird. So this is, this is the, the bird that um, I stamped and cut out. I fussy cut them after I finished painting them. I gave them a little bit of a curve. Let me put them on a white background so you can see them better. I gave him a little bit of a curve so that he looks a little more three-dimensional. And this was very easy to do. It, it took no time at all. And this is one of the things that you'll learn to do in the Watercolor Card Club this month. So um, if this looks interesting to you, you'll want to participate in that. And I will be also showing you how to sketch a bird freehand and then painting him with the watercolors. All right, so I think that's it for my pine cones. And now I'm going, just going to go ahead and assemble the card. So these are all my pieces. Let me get them all organized here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, um, I, think, I think I'm going to put my greeting on the inside first. So for the inside, I'm going to be using this beautiful die cut. And you can see I'm, I did a crooked one on the other side and I re-inked it so it was nice and straight. So nothing goes to waste. You just want to get that lined up nice and straight. That looks pretty good. Give that a little burnish with my bone folder. After the video, I will post all of the supplies that I've used to make this project. So if you'd like to purchase any of these things, there'll be a, a button below that you can click that will bring you right to my online store where all of these things will be available. And there will also be a link to something called essential tools so if you were thinking about getting some essential crafting tools for somebody on your on your gift list or maybe for yourself you'll be able to see those let me get a different glue out yeah so on the essential tool list you'll find the the trimmer snips, this multi-purpose glue that I'm using, the basic cardstock and envelopes, and you will be able to, um, to begin making some of these projects right at home along with me.
If you use the host code, look for the host code down there and jot that down. That will entitle you to an additional gift for every $50 that you spend. So please be sure to use the host code. When you, when you place your order, you'll put in your name and address and down towards the bottom somewhere will be a box that says host code. And I think it's an, an eight digit number and you just enter that in there and that will that will qualify you for the for the extra bonus. All right, so there is my card matted. And now I'm just going to add my branches. And they're going to go something like that. So again, I'm just going to put a few dots of glue here and there. And I'm not going to go too close to the ends of the... Oh, I'm off camera. Sorry. There you go. Sorry about that. Um, right, so I'm not... So what I did was... I did not put the glue on the very towards the very tips of the needles. I did do towards the tip of the branch, however, because I'm going to slide a couple of these pine cones underneath those needles, so I want them to be able to lift a little bit. I don't want the branch to come up, though. Okay. So there's that. These, um, these die cuts are so delicate. They're so beautiful. Okay, that should do it. This I'm just going to tuck in there. Put that on there straight. Now for the pine cones, I'm going to use some dimensionals. So let's see. Not sure if I'm going to use these big ones. I think um, I like the smaller ones better. Let me let me get my chickadee on there. So I'm going to pop him up on a couple of dimensionals as well. There we go. Okay. 
one up here. And I think I'm gonna put a little glue on this one and, and tuck it under. Let's see, I can go under this one. go and then I, I want to add some on the inside too because I've got this other little sprig. One of the things I really like doing with the die cuts is tone on tone. So you really get a, a sense of the texture of the of the shapes and that little bit of raised detail just adds such a such a nice touch to your work. Okay, now this one I think I'll put right there. And my acorn, I mean my, not an acorn, this is a pine cone. Let me just put that right there. Okay, so that is our card. Oh, one, I forgot something. I forgot the envelope. Okay, I want to put a little stamp on the on the envelope. So let's see. I think I'll use this this one. Get that mounted up. And I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight ink for this. Put that right in the middle. There we go. I think that's enough. All right, let's see. Let's see how our card looks now. I want to give this a little bit of a burnish before I close it up. There we go. Now you could if you're if you'd like to dress this up a little bit more you could always add some of our where are they did i take them out let me go get them These are the blue, blue gems, and I'm just, I'm not sure if I want to add any more to the card, but I just want to see how it would look. So you could, you could add one or not, or two at your discretion. Um, I think I'm going to hold off for the moment. I may change my mind. But right now, I think I, I just I like the way it looks as it is. So that's our card for today. Our fifth card in a series of 12. I hope you'll come back tomorrow at noon to see my next project. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. 
please subscribe to Notes at DandelionCottageDesign.com. I've got a lot going on and a lot of free gifts for for the holiday season and um, and that BOGO sale. And I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I'd love to have you as a student. So, um, so with that, stay well, take care, and stay creative. And I will see you next time.